Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to travel to any part of Earth's history at your whim? On such a unique kind of sightseeing tour, we could, for example, observe the gigantic dinosaurs or the construction of the ancient pyramids up close. As exciting as this idea is, it comes with a huge catch. Such time travel, especially into the past, is simply impossible according to our current knowledge. An even bigger problem pops up if you overlook this theory. How would you get back after traveling so far into the past? Nevertheless, there are always people who claim to come from the distant future or to have traveled to days long past. In today's video, we show you which mysterious time travel experiences amazed us the most. Let us know in the comments, do you believe these storytellers? Why or why not? Also, do you believe that time travel may be possible in the future? Or do you believe it's nothing but a pipe dream? Share your thoughts. But before we get into it, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to hear one of the craziest and most believable stories yet. Al Bilek a sober look at the official history of the USS Eldridge is somewhat unspectacular. Our history books only say that the large ship, over 90 meters long, was a so-called destroyer escort of the US Navy, which was used in World War II. There, the USS Eldridge, together with its almost 170-strong crew, accompanied various supply transports to the Mediterranean Sea, to Southern Europe, and to North Africa. After being decommissioned in 1946, the warship was transferred to Greece in the early 1950s, where the USS Eldridge served under a new name until 1992. So far, everything seems perfectly normal. However, things are about to get weird. What makes the ship's story so mysterious is an as-yet-unconfirmed incident that would come to be known as the Philadelphia Experiment. According to this exciting legend, in the early 1940s, the US Navy was keen to develop a new camouflage technology that would make them invisible to the enemy. The USS Eldridge is said to have served as a test subject for testing this new technology in October of 1943. At first glance, the test runs seem to have been crowned with outstanding success. Thus, the force field that was created resulted in the USS Eldridge becoming virtually invisible at sea. Only the imprint of the ship's keel in the water is said to have been evidence of the existence of the large warship as it floated through the water. For the men who were on board during the test, however, the test run is said to have had catastrophic consequences. According to this, some crew members were fused with the USS Eldridge, while others burst into flames or suffered mental damage. Even more mysterious, however, were the cases when the crew members disappeared without a trace. Some some crew members are said to have vanished into thin air from one moment to the next, many years after the Philadelphia Experiment. If you listen to the statements of an American man, Al Bilek, the Philadelphia Experiment is supposed to have had a completely different purpose time travel. Accordingly, he claims to have witnessed the events on board the ship firsthand. As Al watched his comrades die in agony around him or suddenly vanish from view, he panicked. In his fear, he jumped off the ship, but to his astonishment, he didn't end up in the cool water but in the year 2137. Fortunately, this year's residents meant well with their unexpected visitors. Bilek suffered severe radiation damage, which he sustained during the experiment, but was cured with a futuristic treatment method based on the use of vibrations and light. After Al had recovered a bit and looked at the world map, he was surprised to see that the face of the continents had changed dramatically. Above all, Bilek's US homeland had suffered badly in the past decades. The system of government there had long been a thing of the past, and anarchy had taken control in the USA. A few decades earlier, the US is said to have fought a war alongside Europe against China and Russia. By the end of the brutal fighting, billions had died on both sides, eventually reducing the world population to just 300 million. After his trip to the year 2137,
happen, Bilek is said to have traveled another 600 years into the future. While the first stop on his time travel tour resembled a post-apocalyptic scenario, in 2749, Al finds himself in a far rosier future. Magnificent floating cities were controlled there by an artificial intelligence, which finally gave mankind its long-awaited peace. Accordingly, in the 28th century, there were no more militaries and consequently no more wars in the world. The concept of money had also become obsolete, according to which every citizen was able to get all the things he needed or wanted easily. Ultimately, Al was sent to 1984, though we don't really know how he managed this. Before Bilek died in 2011 at the age of 84, his life is said to have had several more incredible adventures in store. According to his stories, his other time travel excursions took him to the year 100,000 BC, to the year 6037, and even to Mars. However, how exactly the Americans managed to put this breath taking time travel into practice is unknown. Many people debate Al's story and claim that it's nothing more than a hoax. However, Al insists that his stories are real and that he truly did manage to travel all throughout human history. However, the question must be asked, if Al truly managed to make it to the year 2749 and found complete peace there, why did he come back? Travel Back in Time to the Middle Ages On January 2, 1950, a woman known only as Miss Smith just wanted to have a good time with her friends. So, she attended a party in the Scottish town of Brecon, where she sipped a few cocktails with her acquaintances. When the young woman finally drove home, she noticed with great concern that the weather and road conditions were steadily deteriorating. As the sleet intensified, the woman's vehicle eventually skidded across the ice before going off the road and into a ditch. To her own relief, Miss Smith was not injured in the incident. However, since the streets were deserted, she had no choice but to walk home. When the Scottish woman finally arrived at her hometown, she saw something completely unbelievable. Instead of wearing period-correct clothing, residents were dressed in medieval garb. Even more frightening, the ground was littered with fallen soldiers. But how was it possible that the young woman suddenly found herself on a battlefield from a bygone century? In a panic, the Scot fled to a nearby forest where she hid for the night. When she ventured out again at dawn, her home village looked just as she knew it. What makes this story so bizarre is that it isn't the only story like this. There have been reports all throughout more recent years of people who traveled to a different town or returned to their hometown, only to be met by a strange sight that, more often than not, involved the individual traveling hundreds of years back in time. However, However, before the person knew it, they were once again back in their original time period. So far, there's been no official scientific explanation for this strange occurrence. However, they have become far too frequent to simply ignore. Let us know, do you believe these stories are true, or are they just a hoax? The Man from Torred where time travel meets inexplicable parallel worlds. The mysterious story of the man from Torred takes place. But what happened? In the summer of 1954, a man landed at Tokyo Airport, who soon made an unusual impression on officials. Since the European-looking traveler was extremely nervous, almost confused, the staff checked his passport to make sure he wasn't up to something nefarious. Upon handing over his ID cards to the officials, his identity document said that the man was from a country called Torred. The problem was, such a nation did not exist. Suspecting that they'd just caught a scammer, the Japanese officials asked the conspicuous man to follow them to their offices for questioning. There, he was asked to show his home country on the world map. As a matter of fact, the traveler immediately pointed to a certain region on the map, but was surprised that the country was listed there as Andorra and not as Torred, as was shown on his paperwork. The officials began to feel as though this man may have been out of his 
his mind or was simply trying to scam them into letting him travel. However, the man insisted that he was genuinely from the country of Torad and explained that the country had been around for more than a thousand years. Not trusting the man's story, the stranger was taken to a holding room for the night. Since the man hadn't done anything wrong yet, they couldn't officially arrest him. Thus, they kept him in a comfortable room for the evening, which was barred from the outside so that he couldn't escape during the night. A guard was also stationed on the outside of the door. As officials continued to dig into this man's strange story, their research only brought more and more discrepancies to light. The company for which the stranger allegedly worked stated that they'd never heard of this man, even though the traveler had several genuine company documents with him. The next morning, the officers decided to interrogate the man again and finally find out the true background of his identity. However, when they opened the door to the whole holding room, there was no trace of the mysterious person. How had the man from Torad managed to escape from the locked room? Even more puzzling was the fact that the stranger's passport, which the officers had confiscated, had also vanished into thin air. To this day, the stubborn legend persists that the stranger was actually a time traveler. What are your thoughts on this exciting story? Tell us in the comments. To put it into perspective, it's possible that this man could have been nothing more than a scammer and he had worked alongside the guard to secure his release. But even so, if this were true, wouldn't he have been spotted by someone as he escaped? Also, without a proper passport, where would he have even fled to? He was now a wanted criminal in Tokyo, so it's unlikely he would have ever been allowed to leave the country. All these years later, the legend of the man from Torad has never been explained. Sir Victor Goddard in 1935, Sir Victor Goddard was an air marshal in the British Royal Air Force. He was on a flight from Edinburgh to a base in Andover, England. About midway through his flight, he got caught up in a terrible storm. He says that the storm nearly took his entire plane to the ground, and he felt as though the intense rain was going to rip his plane apart. What's so strange about this is that the skies had been completely clear before takeoff. By all means, it was a beautiful day for a flight. When he finally made it out of the storm and flew back towards the airfield, he noticed that large portions of the center had been completely deserted and abandoned. He also noticed that some of the main hangars had been repainted into a different color scheme. Also, the men who were working at the base were not wearing the appropriate uniform colors. Instead, they were all wearing blue overalls. As he continued to fly overhead, he was caught in yet another storm. Storm. After he made it out, he was once again brought back to the modern day. He says that the base looked just like it always had and everything was back to normal. As it would turn out, the base would be painted just a few years later, matching the color scheme that Sir Victor Goddard had spoken about. The uniforms also saw a major change, with most men now wearing blue overalls. By all means, it seems as though Goddard may have temporarily traveled into the future. Let us know your opinion. What do you think of these strange time travel stories? We're looking forward to your comments. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked today's video. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date. Thank you for watching. If you know of any other bizarre time travel stories, be sure to share them in the comments. Your stories may just make their way into a future video. But that's all for now. We'll catch you guys in the next video.